Well, now's the time that millions of people are getting ready to travel for the holidays. And despite concerns over the winter COVID-19 surge and the Omicron variant, the TSA is expecting an increase in travelers this year. Let's set Nunez went to Newark Liberty Airport to find out what you need to know if you're catching a flight. Tis the season for traveling to see loved ones for the holidays. I'm from Canada. I'm going back home for the holidays. Well, we're going to have our family over. We're going to keep it low keyed and to stay home. Yeah, I'm going to see my sister for the holidays. Oh, that's awesome. And what do you guys typically do for the holidays? Um, sit and watch movies, decorate, open presents. That's it. Newark Liberty International Airport already seeing its first wave of travelers making their way to their holiday destinations. The next few days are expected to get even busier. Despite the emergence of the Omicron variant, AAA predicts 109 million people will be traveling this holiday season. Airport officials say they're preparing for large crowds and warn travelers about potential delays. So we do expect to have a very busy holiday period here, uh, December into early January. We do expect to hit volume levels are very close to pre-pandemic levels. Airport officials also announcing new technology to get through security faster. In Terminal A, uh, we passengers can now save time by uh, reserving their, their spot in line for uh, the TSA checkpoint via our new uh, EWR virtual line. Uh, application. It's a virtual queuing technology. It's a free application. TSA says many of the delays and issues happen at security checkpoints. They remind travelers to not bring oversized liquids, aerosols, or gels in carry on bags and arrive at the airport three hours early for an international flight and two hours if you're traveling domestically. And if you plan on traveling through Newark Liberty International Airport, well, Terminal A is still under construction. So that means that only one third of its security checkpoints are working. So make sure you give yourself additional time. Reporting from Newark Liberty International Airport, Lisette Nunez, Fox 5 News.